and this piece here, which defines your minimum uh, tenon and your max tenon, and your minimum um, recess and your max recess for the chuck. And it's, it's made reverse, so the tenon is the, I'm not sure how well it shows up. Yeah, it's showing up. So that when you're trying to turn your tenon, you can take this piece and fit, make sure it, it's going to be the right size. And uh, if it's a large tenon, or if you're trying to do a recess, you can put this into the recess. Because usually that's open and free, or you're working around uh, at most the spindle. So, anyhow, pass around. You can make it for each size um, set of jaws that you have for your truck. On uh, at Christmas when I was here, I had shown a I had, I had a box that we shared, that we exchanged, that had um, a, a texture in it, and people were asking how that how I got that. I'm not sure how long this is shown. So, texture a little band in here. Um, and I said that it was with the elf. So this is the decorating elf tool. It comes with uh, three tips. It's got two bearings in the front. Um, and you can pop out, pop in another tip. There's a Teardrop, a spear, and a, um, a, a straight side of one. It's still in here. And then there's a little brush that you use to try and get the uh, hairs or whatever it is out of the, out of the texture that you've made. So that's around, I think, $99. <laughs> Um, something that I think somebody mentioned um, using the Japanese saw to take the last bit of ten, tenon or a piece off of the bottom of your bowl when you're cleaning it up. But I usually go in with a, a carving tool that's pretty shallow and then try and clean that up. You end up with a really nice um, finish that's with a carving tool. It's pretty much so um, I'll use different size fish tails. This is a number three. But sometimes <coughs> when you're trying to clean the bottom of your piece up, you know, uh, that lasts a little bit. Be careful. And I guess I use a cork to cover my carving tools and knives. I don't know. I used to be in the wood carving club. I picked up there. And the last thing, this is critical, and my eyes are pretty good, and um, generally for a distance, and I can see maybe 12 inches in front of my face. When I was a kid, I used to, <laughs> they used to make fun of me at work because I would get this close to the drafting board. But anymore, I can't get that close. So I get these for a dollar at the dollar store. I get the three. Point oh. And with them, I can I can really get close if I'm trying to wood burn my name or some burning. Well, and I'll really use them on the lathe because I'll try and look, you know, when you're trying to get some detail, I'm trying to work close. So I would recommend a three pound. You can't see anything, you know, beyond here. So you know, look over them so you don't walk into stuff. But very, very important. That's all I have to share.